Hi everyone, in this quick tutorial I want to share with you 5 tips on working in Figma that I wish I knew when I was just starting out. So let's go with the first one. Sometimes we need to resize an object quickly. Probably you're trying to do with the move tool and you see that it doesn't work properly. Font sizes don't change, constraints and out layouts fall apart. In the end you have to do all the resizing manually. And guys I know it's annoying. So the trick is to use scale tool. You can use a shortcut for it, letter K on your keyboard, or you can select it over here. And now let's check it out. Also, you can input the dimensions to resize it. Perfect. If you need to enlarge your frame without ruining the design and ignoring constraints, just hold command and drag the frame's edge to the required direction. Perfect. Tip number two. Some of you are still trying to make buttons with rectangles. Probably you haven't watched other videos on my channel, so be sure to do that. So the right way and the quick way to make a button is to use auto layout. But when you select the text layer, there is no auto layout option. So the trick is select the text layer and then press shift A and the magic happens. Now you can easily change the background color of the button and add a stroke and also add paddings inside. Tip number three. Sometimes you need to put an object above the auto layout element. This can be tricky because your element will be kind of magnetically placed inside of the outer layout. Another situation is when you need to move an object off the edge of the frame, but still keep it inside of this particular frame. So the trick is to hold spacebar and then drag the object here I'm holding a spacebar and dragging the object above the outer layout element, placing it right above it without needing to play around with the layers. Also, if I need to hide this object, I just hold the spacebar and move the object off the side of the frame. We don't see it right now, but it is still inside of our frame. We can check it in the layers menu. Tip number four. Sometimes we need to copy text from one layer to another text layer while keeping the styles of the destination layer. If you use a copy and paste method, the text will be inserted with its style, the one that we were copying. To fix that, we need to use a shortcut, command shift V, to paste the text without pasting the style of the previous text layer. Try it by yourself. I'm sure it will help you. Tip number five. When you design elements get complicated with lots of flares and odd layouts, it may be hard to get to a specific element nested somewhere deep in your layers. The trick is to hold command and click on the required element. Also, you can hold shift command to select multiple elements this way. Check it out. Isn't that cool? Believe me, it saves hours of time in designing. And now the bonus tip. If you have a mess in your workspace or you need to quickly align everything to a grid, without actually using auto layout, try to use tidy up tool. It's right here. All you need to do, you need to select all the elements and then click on the tidy up tool. I like to use it for Instagram profile grids. When you need to move pictures around to make a nice composition. To do that, simply select all the images, use tidy up tool and then drag the pink circle inside of the image to switch the images around. It's perfect now. 
That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was useful for you. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and please like the video so other people can see it. If you have any ideas or comments, please let, write them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter or X and LinkedIn for other valuable tips on web design, Figma and Framer. My name is Sergey, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.